welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how you can boot up in safe mode. So if you've got problems with your PS4, you want to, uh, you've got a no TV signal error or anything like that, you need to uh, restart into safe mode for any reason, this is how you do it. So first off, make sure your PS4 is switched off. So to do that, I'm sure everybody knows, is to press the PS button on the PS4, press power, and then turn off PS4. So I'm just gonna wait for that to turn off. Wait until it's completely powered down. Right, my PS4 is completely powered down. I am now gonna press the power button. It's beep once, I'm gonna wait for the second beep. That's the second beep, and I'm gonna take my hand off the power button. Now it asks you to connect your controller. So grab your USB cable, plug that into uh, any of the USB ports, and then grab the other end and stick it into your controller. Once that's done, press the PS button and it'll bring you up to safe mode menu. The first option on the safe mode is to restart your PS4. This is used basically to exit the safe mode. Two is to change the resolution. Use this if you've got problems with your TV detecting the PS4. Boot it up in uh, 480p and then you'll be able to uh, change the resolution in video output settings in the PS4 software system. The third option is to update the system software from the internet. The fourth option is to uh, factory reset. This is basically uh, resetting your PS4 like brand new out the box. It will not delete any of your data. Five, Use this if your PS4 has a corrupt file, it will basically build the database back up and get rid of the uh, corrupt files. It does take a while. Number six, that deletes everything off your PS4 and factory resets it. So if you've got any data on there that you need to clip, keep, you need to back that up before you uh, do that. Seven is to reinstall the system software. This will factory reset your PS4, wipe all the data and the system software off there as well. So you'll need to go to on a PC on a PS4 website and download the system software onto a USB flash drive and use this option there once that is downloaded. Well, I hope that helps someone out and thanks for watching.